This video is about Amazon RDS. It is an introduction to Amazon RDS. RDS stands for Relational Database Service. Amazon RDS is a managed service for relational databases. You can think of RDS as a wrapper service over relational databases. RDS service helps launch relational databases on the cloud quickly. It also provides features to take care of many routine system admin tasks, such as database backups, software updates, applying OS patches, and many other related types of DB admin tasks without you having to worry about them. Amazon RDS service allows you to create Postgres, MySQL, MariaDB, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, and Amazon Aurora databases. Amazon Aurora is the AWS proprietary database. Let's continue our discussion further about RDS features and talk about the advantages of using RDS versus deploying databases on EC2. Since RDS is a managed service, it automates the provisioning of databases, OS patching, and other related tasks that could be automated. On the other hand, if you are considering installing and managing your relational databases on EC2, you will have to take care of database admin and system admin tasks, such as installing software, applying database patches, applying operating system patches, security, etc. RDS can also enable you to automate backups and restore of databases to a specific point in time. In other words, RDS makes it easy to do database restores to a specific point in time. With RDS, you can very easily set up read replicas to improve the read performance of your database by utilizing read replicas for read operations, thus improving overall database performance. RDS provides multi-AZ features to eliminate a single point of failure. In other words, when you enable the multi-AZ feature, your database will be deployed to more than one availability zone. Thus, if something happens to one availability zone, your database in the other availability zone will still be available. It also provides maintenance windows features for database upgrades. For example, you can schedule maintenance to occur once a week during a specific time period that lasts between 30 minutes and up to 23 hours and 30 minutes. It provides both vertical and horizontal scaling capabilities. You can launch RDS on higher end machines or run on additional DB instances to manage scalability. The RDS database storage is backed by EBS. Both GP2 and IO1 type of storage options are available. GP2 is designed to deliver the provision performance 99% of the time. If you need more IOPS than GP2 can provide, such as a workload where low latency is critical, or you need better performance consistency, it is recommended to use IO1. RDS provides auto-scaling storage features. In other words, it enables an automatic increase in storage if your RDS database is tight on free storage space. When RDS detects you are running out of free database storage, it scales automatically. That way, it helps avoid manually scaling your database storage. You need to set maximum storage threshold, that is, how much maximum size you allow for your DB storage. RDS automatically modifies storage when free storage is less than 10% of allocated storage and low storage lasts at least 5 minutes or 6 hours have passed since the last modification. These storage features make RDS useful for applications with unpredictable workloads. RDS supports all mainstream RDS database engines, MariaDB, MySQL, Postgres, SQL Server, and Oracle. Let's look into another essential feature of RDS, read replicas. In RDS, you have your primary or master database through which create, read, update, and delete operations are performed. In addition to the primary database in RDS, you can also have read replicas to improve overall database performance. In other words, read replicas provide read scalability. Need more reads on your database, add read replicas. You can set up to five read replicas, with an AZ, across AZ, or across regions. Read replicas are replicated from the primary database. Replication is asynchronous, which makes reads eventually consistent. In other words, the changes will be available later in read replicas, not immediately at the time when data is changed in the primary database. Read replicas can be promoted to the primary database if needed. Applications must update the connection string to leverage read replicas. In other words, the applications need to tell the database driver which replica database they are querying.